All right, let's go. Dardian, Blackpool, Barrick. Yeah. I think Barrick, uh, Barrick's armor doesn't even have any upgrades. That will be great. Maybe I'll find a good armor for his ass. Spindleweed can be found near water. Yeah, Spindleweed turns out... It turns out to be a very in important plant. I thought it was garbage. But you create resistance tonics with it. Ah, fail. That's a little transition I... I... I made up. In all honesty, I'm calling it... <laughs> yeah. You know, I just superposed the logo on a mass effect. <laughs> uh, a mass effect dream scene. Because XSplit minimizes my my game and it flickers on your end, so I decided it was best to have a little transition scene. When X ex split does that, you know what's interesting? Fail actually. Did, do you did you ever see that uh, episode of The Simpsons? Okay. Good to see you safe, Inquisitor. Well, we've got trouble ahead. All the Red Templars here. There's a few up in the hills, but for once, they're not our biggest problem. What is? Don't tell me dragons. Oh. Crestwood was the site of a flood ten years ago during the Blight. It's not the only rift in the area, but after it appeared, corpses started walking out of the lake. You'll have to fight through them to get to the cave where Sir Hawk's Grey Warden friend is hiding. Well, I'll wager they are safe because nothing has happened so far. More walking corpses. At least they won't be a surprise. I nearly stepped on one in the grass the other night, before it started moaning. Maybe someone in Crestwood can tell you how to get to the rift in the lake. Maker knows they'll want help. Good luck, and please be safe. Well, I actually have an exploit license that lasts until May 2017. Well, I like this place. Fucking Barrick, you stupid piece of shit. Okay, let's do this. 30 health fruit, great. No, 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 I don't want that. The main watchtower, that's what I want. Who gives a shit out the courtyard? Restore and improve the large tower with an imposing cosmetic change. Best this upgrade to choose between a mage and a templar tower. Well, definitely a temp a mage tower, I would say. Since we have mages. Okay, apparently I cannot do any more. Okay. Apparently, we need requisitions for this place. This might interest you, sir. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. 
There are longbows. Okay. Inquisitor. <laughs> ah, fail. You always have so it's such a strange notions. Let's make sure everyone has all the things they need. All right. I think we're off. It doesn't seem I have much of a choice, does it? Let's go straight ahead. There must be a way to get to the rift in the lake. You mean aside from wearing all your armor and wading in? Maybe the locals will lend us a boat. Yes. Or maybe the locals have been killed and turned into undead. Doesn't that seem the more... Li logical approach. The good thing about Blackwell is that he has that invincibility, this unyielding thing. He will allow me to escape no matter what. Okay, clearly I am not accustomed to doing this with Barrick. But he has more or less the same shit. Save these guys. The Grey Wardens. I knew I should bring this guy. What are you doing in Crestwood? Looking for another warden, Sir Logan. He's wanted for questioning. If you see him, I'd keep your distance. Warden Commander Clorel ordered his capture. I can say no more than that. Make a willing, Logan will lay down his arms when we meet. I've no wish to fight the man. I am a great warden! Stay to fight the undead here. My orders forbid it. Crestwood was only a detour. Is that all the aid we can offer these people? If the Inquisition can help, I beg you to do what you can. The villagers have already lost too many. Farewell. Farewell. Sir, are you sure we can't help the village? Our orders are clear. If we can't find Warden Logan, we return to the Commander with all haste. I know, but if I judge our orders rightly, harder decisions await. None of those Wardens mentioned a new leader. I don't think they're part of Corypheus's plot to seize the Order. I didn't want to say much in case they were, but I think you're right. I hope Hawk's Warden friend has answers for us. Okay. So it was delivered. That's good enough. Good enough for me at least. So the image is fucked. What was that nice? Ah. 
doesn't look good. A shrine to a hidden good. Okay, I see a rift. Some sort of magical short circuit. Let's go towards the village. So it was the right choice to bring this guy to the Grey Warden missions. Ask why. You want to join the Grey Wardens now? Oh, Baker. You're the Inquisitor. Um, but yes, the Wardens are heroes. They saved me from those demons, Your Worship. With all that's happening, I'd like to help people the same way. <laughs> By joining the Grey Wardens. You can't think of something less lethal. Grey Warden or no, the world needs more people with your courage. Don't do it! What does that symbol even mean? If I say don't do it, will she join the Inquisition? Ah, shit. I want her to join someone, definitely. I don't want her to... be... Shack for the rest of her life until the undead come and eat her alive. But I want her to join the Inquisition, not the Grey Wardens. Condemn her to certain death by joining the Wardens. That's another way to put it, punch and throw. But do I know that? Will I know that? I don't think I would. I mean my my character. Could she have deep insider knowledge of Grey Warden rituals? I don't think Fiona has said anything to me. Or this guy. The crown means you recruit them for the Inquisition. I have no idea. I've heard, never seen that crown before in my life. If, if, if that's what it means, uh, then I'll do it. I, I would rather have an elf in the Inquisition. I think Nutter has already played the game, so he would know if that's what it means. Maybe I should save. Because this is one of those instances when I can actually reload if things go wrong. But what if I lose the opportunity to influence her life? I say goodbye. Mm. What do I do? Looks like it just means you have the political perk. 
the nobility, the nobility knowledge. Ah, that's what it means. Shit. What does does that even mean? What will she say? Don't do it. Yeah, they are not saying join the Inquisition instead. The problem is this, more than anything else. The Grey Wardens at this particular time are under great duress. They are being squeezed on the one hand by Corypheus. Uh, on the other hand, you have this mm, commander, whatever, that's hunting down Loghain, which I would definitely know was a hero in the Fifth Blight, a friend of the hero of Ferelden himself, a friend of Hawk somehow or another. So I have sterling, pristine references on Loghain. And I would send this elf to work for the Grey Wardens that are hunting Loghain. And that may be under the influence of Corypheus' schemes, even if they are not directly involved in them. I think that's a better approach to this. I would begin an elf either to a mad woman or man or to Corypheus eventually yeah let's go with don't do it maybe I can convince her to join me find another way to help people the wardens have problems of their own right now yes your worship I'm sure there's something else I can do to help ha huh, she actually joined amazing Alright. Well, that worked out well. I swear I'll avoid the wardens, Inquisitor. Thank you for the warning. Yeah, yeah, that was a better line of reasoning. Apparently a game was thinking the same shit as me. You know what? They haven't saved for the longest time. might be a village. The village needs villagers. I've yet to see them. Hala leather. Disgusting. As I said, stop pretending using Hala. Was a seen a long time ago. Okay, let's help the villagers. Undead by the gate. Let's lend a hand. Yeah, let's let's do that. Seems I'm overpowered for this place. Okay, it seems. Did you see? The corpses are coming from where old Crestwood used to be. The amount of people we lost back during the blight. Not surprised. All right. So they retreated from the. What would you call it? Outskirts of the city. Yeah, Poncho. We hit it on the head with that conversation.
All right, I think it's time to enter the town. I don't need blood loads for any quest or requisition. Straight ahead. Now it seems I won't have much trouble in the city itself. So a moment, your worship. So everyone here knows how to me. Stranger. The only person that doesn't recognize me. To steal everything from him. Alright, next house. a quest, maybe this is the major one. Why doesn't Judith live in the village while this is going on? Make her, if something happens. Are you looking for someone named Judith? Oh, was I speaking out loud? Judith lives outside the village. I asked her to hide here when the undead came, but she wouldn't hear it. Why wouldn't she hide where it's safer? Likes her space, she says. I told Judith my house was big enough. Me and the boy could sleep in the barn if she wanted room. She turned me down. Because she knows. Good day to you. And to you. There is a hole right there, so you can watch her undress. She knows. Crestwood is finished. The sooner I get away, the better off we'll be. Besides, we haven't had visitors since the trouble started. She will have all the space she wants Partisan. if she's only surrounded by it's the not safe to work the fields. What does it matter? There's no one to sell to. No merchant comes through here anymore. And with the mule dead, I can't take the cart to market. Dead? What happened? What do you think? Those things broke into our barn and ripped poor Marigold apart. We heard her scream. There was nothing we could do from inside the house. Okay. Crumped letter. A letter written by a quick hand. From everything you've told me, you must get out of Crestwood as soon as you can. I know it's dangerous, but I fear you will have no chance at all if you don't attempt the trip. My father said that the walking, that the dead. My father said that taking that man's pass will guide you safely past those filthy highwaymen. If you come at dusk, you should be able to avoid the wolves too. Hurry, my love. Don't I know you from somewhere? Yes. From the statues in Denerim. Ah, not really. I'm not helping the Ferelden monarchy. Lassurite! One step closer. Michael! It's the end of the world! The fucking bastard. What 
that's how I found last unit last time, I'm sure. Okay, so I will be able to gain the specialization. What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I don't know what to know. My good man. You're not a merchant, are you? We haven't seen one in months. No, what I know a few. Although Barry could qualify as a merchant. But it seems to me like Barry is inconsequential to a plot here. Which means I'm going to dump him fast while the Grey Warden does seem to be involved Barg is a much much worse rogue than Sarah this it appears to me like that's the case message board the board has several papers and scraps of paper pinned to it no one is to approach the dragon again. I've sent messages to the capital. We must wait for them to arrive. Meanwhile, we will dredge the lake for any sign of Henry at the first sight. Major Derrick. One of my lambs went missing, striped on the right foot. Disappeared just evening in the upper meadow. If anyone spots any scent for me, don't let her sweet talk you into anything else she knows what she need need rake i'll lend you one for five coppers come see also have a wagon at pretty good pit it's rep you can have it just come take it away from my home bring wheels <laughs> someone also got milton and loney into the backboard Ah, yeah, Poncho. That's an Easter egg for the people that cheese the game. Cheesing it. That would be a great achievement. If I saw that achievement, I would approve of achievements once more. I also would like achievements if they were left completely confidential. If you actually couldn't know beforehand. The Underfells are a land of shocking extremes. It is the most desolate place in the world, for two lights have left it great spans of the steppe so completely void of life that corpses cannot even decay there. No insect or grub will never reach them. It is a land filled with Wonders like Merdain, with a gigantic white statue of Our Lady carved into its face, her hands outstretched and bearing an eternal flame, or wise hub fortress, with its walls of lean rock towering over the desolate plains below. The Anders, too, are a people of extremes, the most devout priests and the most deadly soldiers, the poorest nation in the world and the most feared. I'm sure we will visit the Anderfans before long in the series. Okay, so we keep moving up. I think I'm going out of the village, aren't I? Finally, plan to drain the lake. I must find someone to retrieve the remains of those lost there. A 
have I interrupted a funeral service? We lost many friends in the first attack. There will be endless time to move on. The fear is how many more will be added to the pyre. As many as I can. You want to exhume the corpses at the bottom of the lake? They were the Maker's children. Their earthly bodies deserve better than abandonment in a mire. A funeral service will help put living minds at ease. Nah. I don't like that quest, but there is a a, a rift all in the lake. So I think I'll drain the lake, seal the rift, and leave the bodies there to rot. Maker's children, that's all they deserve. What do you mean by finally drain the lake? The undead returned only after the light in the lake appeared. If we want to stop them, we must investigate. But the mayor sent no one at all. I fear he thinks that emptying the waters would unleash even more monsters on us. That's likely as well. Until later. Farewell. Okay, we need to find this Major. It's entirely possible the Major is 100% right. Because a Rage Demon will die immediately, I'll say. Upon... Uh, body festing in a lake. Memory of the Drowned. On the 8th day of Blooming Tide, 930 Dragon, we fought the first blight, the fifth blight. We remember the night the dam broke open, drowning the darkspawn in flood water. We remember the cries of those swept away, our families and good neighbors. We remember refugees who took shelter with us, also lost in the dark. We give their souls to the Maker, beloved and trust to guide them to his side. Yeah, humans and people devout of the Maker. They don't deserve our time. The Major or the Rift. You know what? Let's go for the Rift. Or not? Is this backtracking? More or less. I want to see how tough the rifts are in here. The Emerald Graves obviously were... Uh, or I'm heavily underled for that place. There are 20 rifts. And 16. I want to see. How we do here? Talk to a major. Okay, I'll talk to him after I after I reach the rift. What I'm worried about exploring is that there is a dragon about the, uh, around. I don't want to meet his ass anytime soon. Carrick, you stupid fuck. That sounds like a dragon to me. Something equally dangerous. Okay. Apparently, the only way forward is up that little place.
Let's see if we can avoid a fight with those dudes. Now this must be another rift because we're going away from the lake. There it is. Lovely. Arcane horror. Okay, let's explore this side and see if we can gain the upper ground somehow. Doesn't seem likely. What's a dasher from the merchant's guild doing in the middle of a battle against ancient demons? I could ask the same thing of a pampered noble to winter. You can't call me pampered. Nobody's peeled a grape for me in weeks. <laughs> Talk to Josephine. She can arrange something. That rift is huge. Okay, let's see what what's here. Apparently not much. After I deal with this rift, I'll go and talk to a major. I think I can do a rift without major Tarao. To be honest. It's an early land rift. How could I cross that way? But why would I want to cross that way? Yeah, let's do the rift. Hello, UAs. Well, I have been streaming for the better part of what six months without a stop, but I've been fine, thanks. Glad to see you around as well. Okay, it seems we will have to fight this honorably. But let's give the arcane horror a bloody nose if nothing else there he is fuck That thing is dangerous as hell. Apparently he cannot see me here. Perfect. Holy shit, he can. Back me up. Try to bring them close by. Okay. Good 
Great. is really good EOS, yes, I would recommend it thoroughly. Do I understand your first question? Any change of a catch-up of where you are? Ah, okay, where we are right now, we are searching for extern low gain, which is an actual grey warden in my universe. Logan survived and became a Grey Warden. Apparently, the Grey Wardens are being corrupted by the bad guy. Somehow, he's affecting their minds or their ability to be effective against Darks. But because the big bad guy is a, an ancient Darks, one of the first Corypheus, in fact. So. Right now, we're searching for low gain because uh, Hawk, the champion of Kerku, the, yeah, the protagonist of the second Dragon Age, believes he has information about how Corypheus is influencing the Wardens. And when we got here, it turns out Logan is being hunted by other Grey Wardens for some unknown crime. Other than that, we have been dealing with Red Templars in both Ferelden and Orne, especially in Southern Orne, destroying their power base there. So they are unable to... Ooh. Apparently this is where I need to go to do a quest. What do you know? The major moves, what the fucking asshole. Okay, I think I need to go inside. That's... yeah. I will talk to a major next time, Poncho. Because now we are here. Backtracking doesn't seem logical. That's what what's going on in the game. If you want uh, a more thorough explanation, I can give it to you. But I've been playing the game for a hundred hours, so it will be a very long recap. <laughs> but basically, we're trying to disrupt the plans of Corypheus. Because we went to the future, a future where the protagonist, the Inquisitor, then disappeared from reality. Uh, and in that future, the sky ha uh, had been replaced by the Fade. And cannot open it from this side. Ah, so this is the exit. Okay. Then I will go and talk to a major. And Corypheus had destroyed uh, Orle, taken over Ferelden, and basically became a new god in the eyes of 
the eyes of regular people. As a English elf, we don't want a magister of the winter ruling everyone. I didn't, yeah, I didn't find out what happened to the Dalish. But I'm sure it was nothing pleasant. So that's our main motivation for stopping Corypheus. Other than that, my character is interested in destroying humanity. So the secondary goal is hijacking Corypheus's plans and uh, using them to destroy humanity so the elves can take over again. I wouldn't say secondary goal, I would say that's our... Yeah, we have two big objectives. Yeah, I can fast travel to a town. I don't like fast traveling that much. Especially when, when I feel I haven't explored a place in its entirety. But I do believe now I have explored this section entirely. But I won't be mowing there again. May come in with you, Inquisitor. Who is this woman? Thank you for all your help. Isn't this the one I saved? May come in with you, Inquisitor. Thank you for all your help. Yeah, it does seem like it. where is the freaking major? I didn't enter here. What do you know? Okay, the Inquisitor. It's the boys of the party, so let's... Where is this asshole? Ah, there he is. The Inquisitor. Oh, Mayor Dedrick of Crestwood Village. At your service, despite everything. Are you... here to stop the undead? We will, right? I mean, these people are terrified. The undead are appearing because of a rift in the Fade. How can I get to it? The light in the lake? It's coming from the caves below Old Crestwood. Darkspawn flooded it ten years ago during the Blight. Wiped out the village, killing the refugees we took in. I saw a dam. If we use it to drain the lake, I can get to that Fade Rift. Drain the... There must be some other way. Your people are frightened, and they're tired. Let us help. You'd have to evict the bandits in the old fort to use the dam. I can't ask you to risk your life. <laughs> I think we need to bring this guy out from his perch. Delusional human bastard. If he won't ask for my help, submit to my mercy, then I won't help them. You're risking the villagers' safety if you spurn my help. Or is someone else coming? But. No, they aren't. This key unlocks the gate to the dam controls past the fort. The rift must be in the caves under old Crestwood. But, Inquisitor, I would not linger there. Don't tell me how to do my job. What can you tell me about the bandits camped in the fort? The highwaymen, thugs and thieves. They make a living raiding caravans on the King's Road. When the dead rose from the lake, the bandits killed the old gamekeeper of the fort and took it for themselves. We could have saved people if we'd been able to hide there instead of in our homes. Yes. Boo-hoo. 
I'm surprised a town as small as Crestwood outlasted the Blight. It was a close thing. The Darkspawn followed a band of refugees running from the Blight. Some of the refugees were... They were very ill. But we took them in. They perished when the Darkspawn flooded Old Crestwood. Well, anyways, I will tell you that so far the choices I've made in the past have only been reflected that I can remember at this moment in what players well uh, let's say what characters are around in the in, by the time you reach Inquisition. Other than that let's say other than say saying an uh, who is King, uh, who survived? The minor plot details. No, but yes, there. I don't see. I don't know if major differences. I would call it. But yes, depending on what you do, the King of Orzammar is different. The King of Ereden is different. Things like that. Mm. But plot points? No, I don't. I don't think. I have seen one. Anything that stands out? No. Or minor choices. Uh, how did Dogspawn manage that? They found the dam's controls, wrecked them. All I remember is the refugees and villagers screaming as they drowned. And now, they return to us. <laughs> This guy is so depressed. Tell me about your village. It's seen happier days. We farm what we can, trade with the merchants who travel the King's Road. We only want peace, your worship. It's all we've ever wanted. Until later. Of course. Something I would say is that since they made the keep playing the Playing the older games doesn't seem that appealing. Because you can see in the keep everything they believe is the important stuff you decided in the previous games. Okay, let's discover this camp and that will be it for today. That's what Bioware beliefs will matter in the future. Everything, every choice they gave you in the keep. Outside of those, it's just for fun. You could say. Just like in Dragon and no, not Dragon Age 2. Mass Effect 2. In Mass Effect 2 at the beginning of the game uh, who is it? The woman Miranda asks you who leads the council or things like that. The major plot points of the previous game. Something similar happens with the intro to the game in... Was it in PS2? PS3? I think it is. Tatter Journal. Bandits are just across the way, so I can keep an eye on those bastards. I managed to take back some of the supplies they stole from that traveling merchant. They didn't even see it coming, but I'm not afraid. If they want to fight, they can come and get me. Is this the... This actually looks like the place I'm supposed to travel to, or enter. The hidden cave, a wooden facade has been erected at the mouth of this cave, presumably to shield any occupants from the weather. How are we, as it regards to potions? Uh, 
we're fine. I think I'll leave it here for today And tomorrow we enter that game it Seems like that will lead me to low gain Which I guess is a, a, a spoiler for you AOA, sorry, didn't know you were watching my playthrough <laughs> uh, If I had known I wouldn't have told you that I spurred low gain What can you do now? Okay. I'm going to make sure this is actually a big game. Before I stop moving. No, this is a small game, okay. Then we continue to the camp. And what are you standing there for? Don't you have somewhere better to be? No. What are you standing there for? Don't you have somewhere better to be? Unnatural things walk in the night. You cannot it's the make maker punishing a sinful world. That's what I say. You cannot make a, a potions. Nah, but I will go to the to Don't the, come uh, crying to us if you get yourself in trouble. To a camp. Uh, because I, I thought this was the cave that would lead me to Logan, but obviously it isn't. Let's continue to the camp. Okay, you cannot craft these potions, the red ones, the healing potions. That is true. But you can craft a lot of other potions. These potions, grenades, mana potions, uh, tonics, The only potion you cannot make it's the is the healing potion. Ah, you actually mean options. You cannot make options. Ah, what does that mean? While you answer, I'll tell you my build. My. This is my character. She is a, what passes for a healing mage in this game. Let me show you. She has all the abilities in this tree, which are basically uh, defensive abilities and the ability to revive people. Other than that, she has a lot of powers in electricity, which more or less paralyze people that's that's it <laughs> tanks are the other mage is basically the same only that he has necromancy abilities which allow him to put the fear in enemies hearts as of now Yeah, autocorrect always fucks you up. <laughs> ah, shit, I got attacked. <laughs> what is going on? Ah. As you can see, my tank doesn't have a lot of offensive abilities. What I did was build tanks that can dodge. That's what he does, dodge. And counterattack with a charge. That's all I do in fighting. I, I just... Uh, Dodge. The 
Rogue. Is that your your average rogue? Honestly. Well, red lyrium is everywhere now. Tries to stay out of the fight, flank enemies, attack from afar. I would say the only thing that's special about my build of a party is that I only have one melee character. And I don't plan to get another one anytime soon. But I would say that what I've heard everywhere is the standard party for this game is two mages, one rogue, one tank, or one warrior. So I'm pretty much up there with the standard, with the norm for the game. Defensive mages, a tank and one rogue. That's the party. What is it with people who just wait for some sign of trouble to turn to banditry? You think they sit around sharpening axes and waiting for disasters? That's some hobby. That's better than other hobbies, such as milking cows. Really? There are only two... Two places here, two camps. So this will be a small map. But that's it for today. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope I'll see you tomorrow when we continue the search for Logan, which apparently is just tap that no that way. Until then, long live Arlathan. Goodbye.